Hello family, it's Ajiba Delo Ashion here, and I welcome us to another session of tutorial. Yeah, if you are new to this YouTube channel, I would like you to smash the subscribe button, yeah, like, and also comment when this video bless you because definitely it's going to bless you. I'm going to be learning in this video how I manipulated this background. Yeah, we're not going to be creating this flyer yet. We're going to be learning how to manipulate the background then in the other video next video tutorial we're going to learn how to um work on the design properly so um so the background everything was done on pixel let me just delete all this then we get to see what the background was made up of so you can see you can see you can see all this so this is what the background was made up of so can you see it can you see it so um right about now we're just going to be walking through the process of working on this background so once again if you are new smash the subscribe button now now yeah okay so let's get down to business i'm just going to tap on this then tap on this white part then everything clears so the first thing i will do is to um import the um, background that was used initially i'm just going to import it then we work um then we manipulate it and create our own background do you understand so that's the idea of learning how to um manipulate your background so that you can also um work on the backgrounds yourself so this is my background folder I'm just going to go get um the um background now okay without let me just okay so this oh. i'm just going to check mark it yeah. no what would you just do so we know the size we are working with is square size that's it so i'm just going to um, stretch this stretch this Okay. Then centralize. Okay, we are good. Then what I'll do is just lock this up. So after locking this up, now the idea is to lighten this up um properly. So what I'm just going to do now is to um come to now that I've locked this up, uh, I'm coming to my shape. Just come here, stretch this, make it a rectangle kind of and just bring sound to blend this first so i come to my gradient tap on my plus icon then tap on this part i've thought of seeing subsequent videos on how to use um the gradient slider so tap on this part tap on the color soccer too um then pick on this tap on the pencil too then we're just going to put in um the color code or okay um okay let's um fix the color code but i prefer using let me see using this color let me see then i come to this place and uh what's it called tap on this then tap on that and slide this over here to make it transparent then just take this up a bit to make it um cover this part okay so this is the idea okay so this is what i want to do and we are good with this for now then lock this up so the next thing to do is to um um come to your while uh, working more with shapes come to your okay not shapes now you are coming to your stickers you want to get your flare so this flare i thought you don't Tap on the check mark unless it's clear. What you do when you get the flare? Tap on your canvas. So tap on anywhere on your screen. Then you stretch this a bit. So I just need to come here and make this um the bag and what's it called? The color that we just imported. Now this is it. Okay, so we can make it of red too. So red. So you know the color code for red is FF000. So that's color code for red. So that's what we're going to work in with here. Now just pay attention to this. Now once you do this, it's going to look like oh, it's not making sense. Just pay attention. 
now you copy this and place this here right then come to your color then we're going to be um working with putting a yellow light there like a light fee so that it will make it light in so the color code for the yellow is is this oh sorry um So the color code for this for the yellow is I think it should be this okay so let's just pick our yellow from here since I couldn't get this so this is what I'm going to do here so I'm just going to keep this here now after doing that so the okay let me just tell us the color code the color code for this yellow is actually FFF801 so just get it and we copy it out just place it here but before doing all this actually i actually worked on the background okay let's on um, undo this first i actually worked on this background first so what i did was to lighten it up it looked dull okay so this is it i lightened it up so come to your color filter increase the hue a bit so like make the heat like five okay then increase the saturation so about 20. don't worry the resources this background is going to make it available for us then you can reduce the uh the brightness so about 15 right increase the contrast so about 20 so when you increase the contrast you are making it um sharper you get so let's work with a contrast of 15. so i think you are good with this then add um this back you can see the feel is giving now than the way it was before right so after doing this now we're almost done with this background so background manipulation is necessarily not uh, it actually takes time, but doesn't really take time. It's now blending the background with your text, your um, your images that actually makes it. But this, it takes time also. But let's just pay attention. So now, next thing I'm going to do is just to um, come to my shape again and um, get. I'm just going to do this and get come here. Then add this again. Come to my not color picker now come to pencil tool then tap on this and get this so the color code just got a color code okay so why am i picking the wrong color code so this is the color code i'm to use right what's going on so come here then i pick the color code okay yeah exactly so this is the color code then tap on this here then make it transparent okay so then increase the slider up a bit bring this here now what i want to do is i'm going to come to my um go to your texture so once you import something on the shape that you was it called come to your mouth right now so i'm just going to add this yeah exactly can you see the feel it's giving okay so sorry i delete a bit first so come back to your um uh, your shape make it a square first yes let's work with a square first then afterwards we can now increase the size so come to your texture so that you saw the way it stretched you don't want it to stretch okay so now that i've done that so you can now um do stretches by yourself yeah exactly so you can see can you see this can you see how it has blended can you see how it has blended okay so what we do now is just to um come to our flare get a flare cover up this part so tap on your screen then go to color 
now we're going to be working with nice gradient this the same orange color that's this this color code right I think so um so now just keep this here stretch this so i believe you are following so just comment if you're getting value just drop a comment if you're getting the value so you can see this then you can just keep this here to lighten it up a bit yeah okay so now in the next video um we're going to be learning how to we are done with this i'm going to be learning how to um um how we how i added my images to this so now if once you are done you are done with this actually then if you see that um okay this flares that you added yeah like they are um so loud you can reuse the opacity yeah you can reduce the opacity so maybe 65 you can reduce the opacity so everything is just you are manipulating one to the other you get if you notice you are so loud on one place you can always change around but you get the idea so just comment drop your comment like the video and share to your designer friends help them so in the next video tutorial i'm going to be learning how i um added and how to add your text effects to these stuff like this so now um so i'm just going to what's it called save this background and import it again so we get to see get to see the um products um okay so let's import it again can you see it can you see it so in the next video tutorial we're just going to be importing the background right you get it so we're just going to import the background then we add our image can you see can you see how it has formed a perfect background for you can you see then we'll be adding our images and text to it so thank you for staying to the end see you in the next video tutorial god bless you